Okie dokie. So, um, perfect. But now maybe I want to have a longer fence than just this little dinky thing. Um, I could, you know, stretch it out, make it wider, but then I'll, I lose my great grid pattern here. Um, so I want to duplicate it on over. What we're going to do, I want you to first, in object mode, select your fence go up to edit, delete to by type and history, and then go to modify and freeze transformations. That's just going to zero out everything here. Now, I want you to do a control D to duplicate, and then we are going to, in um, your move tool, your W, you're going to hold down D hold down B to vert snap and I want you to come up here to this last vertice and what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch how far this goes over so in our move tool now we're not holding anything um, go ahead and hold V to get into vert snap changes to a little circle and I am going to snap right to the end of my other fence and we're going to see how much that moved. So that moved on the X 23 inches and some odd change. So I'm going to go ahead and control C to copy that and I can get rid of this one. Okay. So now what I want to do is with this selected, our original, um, go up to edit and duplicate special. Go ahead and click on that. Don't want that. I want this to be what we had there, so control V into there, I believe. And then, I probably don't want this 30 times, um, maybe let's do 5, see how that is. Uh, this fence is already pretty big, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply. And so that creates in this X movement uh, our fence here. So I could go and move this over, if you wanted this to go the opposite direction, go ahead and hit a um, negative in there, a uh, the little minus key, and that will go in the other way. So, done with this, I can hit close. So now I have a fence. Um, if I wanted, I could come in here and probably turn these little edge bits into um, maybe like the pole divider things. This is just a really quick way that you can create a fence. It maybe looks like a chain link fence from far away uh, really easily. Move that to the center. Find where we are here. Make sure this is all centered. Cool. Control D to move that pivot again. Control, uh, sorry, not Control D. D to move the pivot again. Hold down V also to vert snap. Make sure that I'm not rotating it. V, there we go. And I think I'm at the. Oh, no. There we go. So just stick it somewhere along the bottom of your um, guy there. And then I want to extend it all the way up, but first I am going to resize. No. I'm not anywhere near that little guy there. Let's try that again. D, V. to extend. Down here, and make sure it's extended all the way up to the top. And I'm going to control D to duplicate and just move it on over to my other ones. 
And you could go ahead and do the duplicate special with this too. Or you could have duplicated it, you know, with um, the first one, but wasn't thinking that far ahead. So, gotta do it after. Duplicate. Yeah. Alright. So that's that. You could go and um, just combine those. Mesh combined. And then maybe I want one coming out. Uh, Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J to snap. And we are sideways, Y, bring it on over. And bring it on over this way. Kind of a little closer so we can control it more. Then maybe you just want to make a, uh, a pillar or something here. So maybe I'd move it a little more out. That one a little more out, and then make a pillar shape or cube. Connecting them to my cube, and this fence can connect it to my cube. Yeah. So there you go. Now you have a, kind of looks like a prison place, but now you have a simple kind of chain link fence looking type deal. So hope that was useful. Thanks. Bye.